Here's the official announcement from Pablo Flores. Damas y caballeros, Boris Teca Boxing Promotions presentan este encuentro pactado a seis rounds en la división de peso gallo. Let's get ready for six rounds of boxing in the bantamweight division. Your three judges scoring this bout in ringside. Sus tres jueces, Sergio Lechuga, Jesús González y Carlos de la Rocha. And your third man inside the ring, el tercero en la superficie, el internacional José Cobian. Introducing to you first, the fighter standing in the blue corner, wearing black trunks with green trim. He officially weighs in at 118 pounds. Presentando ustedes en la esquina azul, vistiendo pantaloncillo negro con verde, con un peso de 118 libras. He stands with the record of four victories, no defeats, and three of his victories coming by the fast way of knockout. Presenta un record de cuatro victorias, cero derrotas, y tres de esas victorias por la vía del knockout del team Paco Cuesta de Rosarito. Eduardo López. And his opponent across the ring is standing in the red corner wearing black and white. He officially weighs in at 118.8 pounds. Y su rival en la esquina roja vistiendo pantaloncillo en color negro con blanco y las banderas de Estados Unidos y México en los costados. Presenta un récord de seis victorias, cero derrotas y una de esas victorias, seis de esas victorias por la vía del knockout. He stands with a record of six victories, no defeats, one draw and all of his victories coming by the fast way of knockout. Representando Manteca, California, Estados Unidos. José María Carrillo. Seis rounds, seis asaltos. This is going to be in the Panama Division. Jose Cobian giving the final instructions. Deportivamente vienen con la campana. Mouthpiece in second out. Fueron segundos. And Jose María Carrillo taking on Eduardo López. Jose María Carrillo has on the black trunks. And he's got the green belt. Carrillo has the all black trunks, black belt, and he's got the Mexican flag along the side of his trunks. It is scheduled for six round in the Bantamweight division. Both fighters weighing in at 118 pounds. Carrillo in the all black trunks, and he's got the Mexican and the American flag along the side of his trunks. On the part of Eduardo Lopez, he has on the green belt. And I think this is going to be the fight of the night, folks. Just looks like it might be. Yeah, two young guys, um, Jose Maria Carrillo, still very young, still learning. On both fighters unbeat, Carrillo has a draw. A good right hand right there by Lopez. By Lopez. Excellent. Excellent timing, timed that out beautiful. Got Jose Maria Carrillo to lean and he gave that right hand. And you can see the difference in just in the conditioning and the steps, the footwork. These are two well polished fighters. Oh, really gonna let it go. Big, big, big left hand just now by Carrillo. Good hook to the body by Carrillo again, putting that pressure. Good, a big right hand by Carrillo. I would not be surprised if somebody got knocked out cold in this fight. Carrillo doing a great job of imposing his will on Eduardo Lopez and placing him where he wants him. And you mentioned, Kevin, uh, these guys are uh, throwing heavy leathers. They are lighter weights, but uh, I mean, that's why we have weight class, you know? They pack the punch to, to knock each other out. And all of a sudden, Lopez starting to up his workload. That's why Lopez is fighting with a chip on his shoulder. He's like, man, you guys called me in here to fight me the B side, I'm the A side. Jose Maria Carrillo. Doing a good job of backing up Eduardo Lopez. You see that Lopez is more comfortable going back and then mounting an attack. Yes, absolutely. 
but the problem with that style is you wonder how the judges look at that as far as is that effective aggression. Very good shot right now, left hook by Carrillo. Carrillo's got a good jab too, very precise and very, very sharp. A jagged, jagged jab. Yeah, one thing I don't like though, Ben, he's leaving himself open a lot. Um, Lopez, he isn't throwing anything for a little bit though, so. And as you say that, now all of a sudden Carrillo <laughs> caught one in the chin. <laughs> So that's the problem right there that you mentioned, Kevin, is the fact that his hands are down. So yeah. he's throwing with his hands down. Yeah. Uh, Carrillo relies a lot on his footwork. Yeah. So he's able to get out in time. Right there at the end, he wasn't able to get out in time with his legs and he got caught with the shot. You know, there's an expression throwing caution to the wind. And you can see that when Jose Mario Carrillo comes in, he comes in with bad intentions. Very much Doesn't so. Doesn't think of the consequences. No, not at all. Not at all. I mean, I would like to see them both uh, box a little bit more. They, we both seen that they could both slug and, and be uh, uh, true warriors, but let's see a boxing match. I think they both have it in them. But, you know, Kevin, you spotted something in that round, and that is the part of Jose Maria Carrillo. Even though he was getting his way yeah. in the way he was fighting, you could tell that that head was not being covered. No, no, not at all. I mean, watch this shot. Watch this shot here. Be patient. See how he's, his head yeah. is totally every single, exposed. Every single last punch, he never brought it back. He never brought it back. That's a knockout waiting to happen. But once again, guys, he uses his legs um, to get out of the way. Um, round, num round number two, I'm sorry, I have a schedule. Let me just set it here. Jose Maria Carrillo, he is wearing the black trunks with the American flag and the Mexican flag along the side. Eduardo Lopez from Rosarito, he's got on the green belt. Is it something that I would coach my kids, what I would coach my guys? No, but it works for him. He's able to do it. Jose Maria Carrillo is able to use his legs, you know, and it's comfortable enough. It, it's, not, it's, not, it's not so much that, uh, you know, he's throwing and, and like he's keeping, I just think that it's a habit more so than a strategy. Cause uh, you know, even Floyd wouldn't bring his hands up all the time, but he knew when he needed to bring his hands it's up. It's absolutely a, a habit. I understand that, but He's been able to get away with it. He's undefeated. He's six and zero. Um, and once again, he's been able to get away with it. You know, uh, can Eduardo Lopez capitalize on that mistake by Jose Maria Carrillo? Who knows? We're, we're, that's why we're here to find out. Carrillo doing a good job now, mixing it up and getting out of it. He's able to measure. I tell you what, in great anticipation, almost like he feels the punch by Lopez and just gets out of harm's way. He, he has a very good understanding of distance. See that? He lands his shot, he knows it's coming, and he takes a slight step back. Once again, I, don't, I wouldn't teach it, but with someone's natural ability like that, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go against it if he can do it. That was nice work right there by Jose Maria Carrillo. Doubling up on those shots and throwing nice combinations. Nice left hooks to the body by Carrillo. And that's a pro move right there, Kevin, because he's yeah. using his shoulder. Yes, absolutely. You know, that looks very good. He's pushing off his shoulder, creating a little distance and, uh, and throwing some good punches on the inside. Making Lopez uncomfortable with that shoulder bump. Yeah, he's very comfortable right there. He's very comfortable. And he's getting some good effective punches off as well. And of course, one of the great fights I saw, was, and I got to announce with the tie between Julio Cesar Chavez against Chop, against, uh, and I'll come back to that because I want to show something. Watch, watch what he does with the left hand as far as Carrillo. He almost hides it mm -hmm. and then brings it around. <laughs> yeah, it's like a, like a, like he, he's poking him with the jab, so he'll fake the jab and then come around with the hook. So he's expecting it from the front and it comes from the side. I like working that shoulder. Referee Jose Cobian letting him work that shoulder. He has an excellent work rate. His work rate is sky high. Lopez cannot keep up with his work rate. Ah, oh, folks, you're gonna, you're gonna love this. This is gonna be the fight of the night. So you guys predicted. He ended that fight like it never even started. He ended that round. I'm just sorry, sorry. Like it never. You guys started. predicted it at the beginning and. 
it's held up. You know, this is a very good fight through two rounds. You know, and I expect it to get better. Despite the little mishap there in the corner. The most dangerous part was the, the corner right there. He almost yeah. fell yeah, out yeah, of the stool. Yeah. <laughs> he got knocked out of his corner. <laughs> now watch this excellent exchange between these two fighters. You got a very game Eduardo Lopez and a very skilled Jose Maria Carrillo. And here you go. Kevin, that's good work right there inside. Yeah, 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 very good work. He got some good punches off there, clean punches. He's doing a good job. And, Ke and you mentioned, Chris, about his legs. His legs, although we can't see it, you can just see that bounce that he's got in those legs. Yes, so look how he, he punches. And whenever uh, Eduardo Lopez is ready to throw, Carrillo's already out of there. Reminds me of a very good former former champion, Chris Martin. Chris Martin. <laughs> Is that Chris or Christopher? <laughs> Here we go, Jose Maria Carrillo. He's got on the black trunks with the American flag and the Mexican flag along the side. Eduardo Lopez has on the black trunks with the green belt. Carrillo who's had a brilliant, brilliant night. Mixing up his punches, using his legs, getting out of harm's way, using his shoulders when he gets inside. Lopez has had his moments too, but not nearly as accurate as Jose Maria Carrillo. I think Carrillo is frustrating Lopez by the way uh, he just keeps touching him. He keeps touching him over and over. And Lopez now is trying to load up his workforce, is now trying to come with punches. Jose Cobian urging Lopez to elevate those punches. And now you see Carrillo switch to southpaw. There's a famous Chris Martin move right here. Let's hope it don't turn out the same. Yeah, and that's exactly. <laughs> exactly. Let's hope. Let's hope it doesn't turn out the same. And right. he's oh, hit. Look yeah, yeah, he's that's hit another one. Up. He's thick, staying there. So he needs to go back to, to being orthodox. Oh, because it's not working out for him. No, he needs to realize it. Already. I think he just did. And he's back. He's back to his normal game plan. And now Carrillo goes back to work. Lopez has used a lot of energy in this round. Nice job by Carrillo here. Really working that body. Very, very. He's Giving him all kinds of punching angles, mixing it up beautifully. Jose Maria Carrillo. As a boxing fan, this is why we love the lower weight classes. This is why we love the banner weights, the feather weights, the lightweights. These guys throw. The only place these guys save is at the bank. They bring it here and they bring it again and again. Jose Maria Carrillo has Eduardo Lopez against the rope and watch him use that shoulder. That is a veteran move. And he's making Lopez uncomfortable right there in the corner. Just with that veteran move that you mentioned, Benny. Carrillo not slowing down at all. No, not at all. He's a workhorse. Bringing it time and time again. And there he goes turning southpaw again. And this time it's working for him. And both fighters now letting it go. But again, now you're switching to a southpaw and he seems lethargic. That was an excellent round. By both fighters, that was an excellent round. Eduardo one of the best Lopez, Jose Maria Carrillo. Man, I tell you what, I haven't seen a guy with this type of uh, uh, endurance in a long time. This it was his out his uh, his punch rate is sky high. Okay, so Chris, if you had to beat CompuBox, how many punches do you think he threw in that round? Hundred each. Hundred each. Connected ninety. What do you think, Kevin? Uh, I think Carrillo. Def I think he threw. Yeah, I would give him about a hundred, uh, maybe maybe a little over, but uh, probably give Lopez around around seventy-five to eighty. Now watch this exchange. Count the punches, folks. Oh, this is when he switches to southpaw. Watch him get tagged here. And he's just not able to land. And look at that. He uh, got yeah. tagged Big, twice. Yeah. yeah. I believe this was a sequence when he yeah. went back. 
he, he turned back around to, to orthodox because it wasn't working. So this is round number four of a scheduled six rounder, Jose Maria Carrillo. He is wearing the black trunks with the Mexican flag and the American flag along the side, Eduardo Lopez in black and green. So far it has been a Jose Maria Carrillo fight. Lopez has had his moments, but Carrillo has been absolutely brilliant, except when he turns to southpaw. I like the energy and legwork from Carrillo. I like it. Well, you can tell he has put time in the gym, and he comes ready to fight and really ready to let it go. Both of these fighters are unbeaten. Jose Maria Carrillo 6-0 and one draw. Eduardo Lopez 3-0. Both of them having their moments. And you know, you know this is a good fight when you barely seen Jose Cobian. These guys have mostly been throwing leather. They have not clinched. They have not held each other. They are throwing punches. It's definitely a good thing when you don't see the referee, Benny. It's, a, it's always a good thing. And uh, Mr. Cobian has always done a good job with that. Like you mentioned earlier, he works fights here in Tijuana, and he works fights in California. Jose Maria Carrillo and Kevin really using his legs beautifully. Very much so, I agree. Um, you know, these, they both, this is a good game fight, to be quite honest with you. I think it's a nice even fight, and um, I still think Lopez could come out strong if he, he hasn't switched up his strategy a little bit more right now, though, because he's really trying to throw bombs and, and, and look for openings, but he has to create his openings at this point. There's a saying in boxing, uh, the hardest thing to go is your O, and both of these guys are fighting like it. You guys said it was going to be the fight of the night. So far, it has been. And Maria, Jose Maria Carrillo, one of the things that he does so well is he throws punches from a multitude of angles. So Lopez is never able to set his feet, his base of power, to counter properly. It's that leg movement that I mentioned earlier. Yeah. But see, look at that. That shot came from above, and then it came down low. Lopez gets a feeling he's fighting an octopus. Because they're coming from so many different angles, as Jose Maria Carrillo. He's got the light body. Fast, man. You know, it's interesting, Kevin. It seemed like that head was there. But then, like the way Chris pointed out, he uses his feet so well, you're not able to get to him. Lopez trying to get it. And both of them now loading up and letting it go. Oh, that was beautiful. That was excellent. Boy, I'd like to see this for 10 rounds. <laughs> this a a 10, 10 rounder would be really something. We're only championship fight six, right here. But yeah, I would love to see it for 10, even 12, man. These guys are. Jose Maria Carrillo. And they look at the ring card go to figure out what round it is. This corner right there for Eduardo Lopez. And you get the instructions right there in the corner of Jose Maria Carrillo. Looks like he's having a great time out here. Global Sports Streaming presenting the best in boxing. And this is one heck of a fight. Jose Luis Ramirez is over there in the corner of Carrillo. Jose Cobian signals the fighters. This is round number five of a scheduled six rounder in the Bantamweight division. Both fighters weighing in at 118 pounds. Jose Maria Carrillo, black trunks, the Mexican flag, and the American flag along the side. Eduardo Lopez in the black trunks and the green belt. And they might want to fix his belt right there. Yeah. His protector below there. Let's see if Jose Cobian, are, you know, rearranges that when there's a pause. If there ever is a pause, because these guys have gone at it from the very beginning. Jose Maria Carrillo has gotten the better of it. 
And I think he's on his way to pitching a shutout, but that is my unofficial view of the fight. Carrillo doesn't even look like he's breathing. No, I mean, it's crazy. It's crazy. His work rate is so high, and you just can't tell. Ate a big right, left hand just now, left foot. Started to go as a south oh, Good man. left by oh Dan Lopez. God. Very good. Very good shot. He's, He's right taking it. Lopez is catching the second win. Lopez has definitely won the battle of the power punches in this fight, hands down. But you know, Kevin, this is the first time he's actually gone forward. He's been going yes, back true. to that fight. Yeah, yeah, he's coming forward. Yeah, maybe his corner just had to get to him and say, hey, man, you're losing this fight. You got to come forward. And he's doing a great job. Yeah, I, I think he's losing this fight, but he's winning this round, if that matters. Well, he's definitely more of a power puncher. I don't know if at this weight they have knockout power, but... Um, He's definitely hitting with a lot more power punches. And all of a sudden now, my Jose Maria Carrillo now is stepping up his work. And now he's, he's again, he's accomplished what he's sitting out doing. That's the backup Lopez. Right. Oh, excellent body punch by Lopez. Yeah, that was a very good body shot right there. But that happens when he comes forward, Kevin. Yeah, yes, yes. Yeah, I mean, you know, at this moment, Carrillo is not used to uh, Lopez coming forward, so he has to, he has to now, another, another great punch by uh, Lopez just now again. Boy, you could just but, hear that leather popping. You know, Carrillo, he, he's getting hit, but his work rate is not stopping. That's what's amazing about this kid. And you Lopez. know what? This kind of goes back to our conversation, uh, Ben, about, uh, about rhythm. You know, you see... Real's rhythm is, he, he hasn't lost his rhythm in the entire fight. That's why he's able to fight the way that he's fighting right now and keep his work rate going. And he just keeps throwing. And uh, we've got one more to go. This is a great fight. Very entertaining fight. Small guys always give us a lot of action, though, don't they? And they do. <laughs> they kept the fight. <laughs> oh, and man. A little bit, a lot especially of here in Mexico where, you know, these fighters, especially at the lightweight division. Yeah. They don't know how to hold, they don't know how to grab, they yeah. don't know how to do anything. All they know how to do is throw leather. Throw leather. I think we're starting to see a little, couple signs, signs of fatigue coming from uh, Carrillo now. Working on the nose of Jose Maria Carrillo right there, his corner. Here's some action from round number five. And let's take it, Lopez coming forward. There he is. Oh, boy. That was a good shot right there. He started coming forward and all of a sudden, Jose Maria, but then again, Jose Maria Carrillo comes back and Come back, yeah. Loads up on his Don't work. He, he, he doesn't give the Boris judges enough time presenta. to really sit and say, El hey, man, Lopez yeah. is doing something. He comes right back. Nah, I think Eduardo Lopez got the better of that round, but I still have him behind in this fight. And here it is, folks. The sixth and final round of this beautiful, beautiful match between Jose Maria Carrillo and Eduardo Lopez. Two unbeaten fighters. And like Chris said, they do not want to give up the O. Do not want to give up the O. Someone's got to give it up, though. And Eduardo Lopez loading up right off the bat, trying to back up Carrillo. That's been the most effective way for Lopez to fight. Both fighters landing, having their moments here. That was in this a round. very good left hook by Eduardo Lopez right there. Stopping Carrillo. Nice job right there by Carrillo. Good head movement. Just got down below and then patiently came up on top. Carrillo starting to lead with that uppercut, coming in with that uppercut. Carrillo getting there first, getting there first and not allowing Eduardo Lopez to set his base of power. Not at all. 
He just, yeah, keep them off balance the entire time. Just small punches, too. Every time Lopez wants to load up, Carrillo comes with one, two. Boy, they say styles make fights, and here's an example right here. Yeah. Two guys tailor made for each other. They, they really are, Benny. These guys are these guys are showing excellent boxing skills. They're throwing punches, evading shots, landing shots. This is a very good boxing match. Definitely a fight to remember. Looks like I got a little bit of blood over here on my uh, on my belt sheet. These are not the best <laughs> seats, Kevin. Oh my God! It's about aggression and anticipation, contact and counter. Oh. It's been a combination of that in this fight. I'll take a few showers when I get out of here, man. <laughs> and Jose Maria Carrillo taking the fight to Lopez. Lopez wants to throw, but he's not able to. Carrillo just doing a brilliant job of just smothering him. He smothers him, then he, he moves in and out. He's just a very good boxer, is Carrillo. And a good punch by Lopez that time, catching Carrillo as he was going back. And Carrillo comes right back. Nobody wants to see this fight end. What a fight! Aggression, anticipation, counter, and contact. Excellent fight. Excellent fight. Two young warriors that came to launch leather and they pounded each other. All right, Chris, who, who do you see? Because I'm, um, I'm gonna have to go with Carrillo. I think Carrillo did a little more. Um, even though the scorecard, in my opinion, five rounds to one doesn't really describe the type of fight it was, but I had Carrillo edging out. Kevin, how do you see it? Rounds. Uh, I mean, I, I definitely see a father one as well. I think that fifth round was the only round that um, that uh, Lopez definitively won. I think that Carrillo showed a lot more um, a heart. I think, well, no, I can't say necessarily heart, but endurance and uh, just his his punch output was uh, just out the roof. So I think that it was father one. I actually do agree with that, Mark Chris, on this one. Every great headliner needs a great close, and look at the way they close that fight. The way they started it. There it is. Jose Luis Ramirez, the next great, great referee who is now training fighters. And he trains. Jose Maria Carrillo has done an excellent job with him. You yeah. saw what kind of physical shape he yeah. was in. He was in great shape. Great shape. Especially to go ahead and maintain that incredible work rate yeah. that he established very and, and, early and, and in the from fight. From both fighters. From both fighters. Yeah. Now let's take a look at some of the body work here. Here, working the body, working the body. No body work to so far. You know, to be quite honest, I did not expect that type of action coming from Korea. Maybe he meant the body of work. Hey. <laughs> not body work. That's uh. <laughs> and there he is. We have to choose our words carefully. Jose Maria here. Carrillo, and this is Eduardo Lopez, and our ring announcer Pablo Flores is taking his time getting the final tabulation of the judges' scoring cards. So let's go to Pablo Flores for the official decision. Damas y caballeros, después de seis rounds Hats of off combate, to Lopez, man. He nos did a great vamos job. con las tarjetas de los jueces after six rounds of boxing. We now go to the judges' court cards, but before that, big round of applause for both fighters. Un gran aplauso para ambos peleadores. And para a big hand by the people here for, for the two este combatants. Combate. El juez, Judge Carlos de la Rocha, he scores it 57 to 57. 57 a 57. And judges Sergio Lechuga and Jesus Gonzalez, they both have the same scores of 58 to 55. Califican el combate de igual manera 58 a 55. Estos dos jueces en favor de su ganador por la vía de la decisión mayoritaria. 
Manteca California. Jose Mario had to go, and Jose Mario Carrillo slugs out a unanimous decision when the man from Manteca California now goes to 7 0 and 1. Eduardo Lopez, not no shame there, put on a great, great performance, but he was on the short end of that scoring decision. So, Jose Maria Carrillo is your winner, and he continues his unbeaten. Any thoughts, Chris? Uh, the right man won. Um, it was a good fight. You know, uh, uh, Eduardo Lopez, excuse me, yeah, Eduardo Lopez has nothing to be ashamed of. It was an excellent fight. Um, I don't think it could have gone either way. I think Carrillo did enough to win, uh, but it was a very good fight.